Joining me today is Steve Geller, who's the Executive Director of the Southeast Vermont Community Action. Uh, did I get that right? Sevka is, that's what I know it by Sevka. Sevka is our usual name that people uh, know us by. But Southeastern Vermont Community Action. Correct. So we've, we've had you on before, but for the people that missed that show, it's, 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 on, our, it's on the web. But uh, yeah. just give us a little bit of a uh, sense of the mission of Sevka and the, and the work that you're doing as we springboard into some other issues. Sure. Uh, well, first, thank you for having me uh, on the show again. Uh, I appreciate uh, it. Uh, our um, pleasure. Um, SEFCA is one of over a thousand community action agencies throughout the country and one of five in Vermont that were uh, formed as part of the war on poverty. Uh, and our mission is to uh, deal with and address the hardships that people face when they are in economic distress in, in or around the poverty level uh, or under often. Um, we help them uh, move toward more sustainable uh, economic situations, sustain their, their lives and their situations, and, and work with them to move out of poverty and move towards self-sufficiency. And we work with individuals and communities to try to get at and, and reduce the, some of the root causes of poverty. Are the communities that you work with, the businesses and the local leaders, are, are, are they very receptive? To, are they receptive to this? Generally, yes. Uh, it varies from place to place. Uh, but one of the indicators of how receptive communities are is that we go to virtually all of the towns that we serve in our uh, two counties in Vermont, Wyndham and Windsor counties, mm -hmm. and ask the communities through their town meeting process or their select boards or whatever it is for support, financial support. And uh, to my knowledge, we've never been turned down uh, by those communities. So they understand that while they, any individual may not need our services, there are many, many people, their neighbors, their friends, often their relatives, who are getting vital, critical uh, emergency and other kinds of services from SEVCA, without which they would be in much uh, more difficult uh, shape in their lives. So, and just you know, as a quick review, what are the various service areas that you provide to interdict to help people Mm -hmm. in this? Uh, well, there's emergency services. Uh, more and more it involves housing. Uh, we prevent homelessness and help people get housing if they are already homeless. Uh, energy, uh, which means uh, fuel assistance. Uh, we, we provide weatherization services for people to tighten up their homes and have them use less energy and therefore fewer fuel dollars. And which uh, translates into more discretionary dollars. Sure. To yeah. Food and health. Absolutely, yeah. And also more uh, better use of public dollars because if they get the public fuel assistance uh, funds, right. that it's, can go it further. It stretches the public stretches dollars further. stretches those dollars, right. Uh, we provide um, services to help people uh, manage their budgets, understand finances. We have a program called fi uh, Financial Fitness uh, in which we um, uh, train people on how to manage the scarce resources they have understand the, you know, the intricacies and, and pitfalls of credit and banking and um, uh, buying a car or a home or other kinds of things that with the scarcer resources that they often have is, are much more difficult than, than the average uh, household uh, that, that we, that, you know, in our communities. Uh, we, all, we try to work with people to give them tools to move out of poverty and towards self-sufficiency such as our Ready for Work program to help people who have uh, historically not had a good work history, been, been out of, in and out of the workforce or locked out of the workforce for one reason or another, help them get into the workforce and take advantage of job opportunities when they arise. Um, and um, a variety of other programs that help people address the issues that they're facing currently and help stabilize their lives and move out of poverty. And you, I, I know you do a number of things. It's hard to sort of isolate one or two that you think are most instrumental but I'm gonna ask that mm, anyway. Sure. What do you think are the things that you do that really probably put, move the needle the most? Um, well, most recently, a, a lot of that has to do, has been uh, uh, circulating around housing because housing is such a critical and an enormous part of what people need to, to live and survive. Um, you know, typically, the, the goal for the federal government and, and normal standards is, is for people to pay no more than 30% of their income on housing costs. The reality is that the vast majority of people we see are paying 
more than 50% of their income on housing and often as high as 70, 75%. And that's uh, got to make it incredibly difficult to do everything else. Of course. Where do they find money to buy food for their kids and, and you know, health care if they don't have a, a, a plan at work or, uh, you know, and energy and other kinds right, of things. Right. Well, Steve, we're out of time in this segment.